real fam. I'm back with another video. <sighs> I apologize in advance for the kids in the background. They're back to playing games and whatnot. It's the weekend. And I was just having some thoughts today. Um, I'm really freaking tired of hearing about people being sexually abused as children. I'm not saying that as if to say they shouldn't be talking about it. I'm saying that because it's everywhere. It's practically everywhere. It's inevitable these days. So many people have been sexually abused. And it's literally everywhere. Like, everywhere I turn online, a lot of people I meet, people I just randomly text, people I meet, you know, anywhere online, a lot of people have been abused. And it's just. It's really sad that majority of the world's sexual issues stem from sexual abuse. A lot of people have accepted it and realized it, and there's a lot of people who have not accepted it. And they're living what they think is their truth, and it's probably not their truth. It's just, you've been preyed on at an early age. And, like I said, I'm, I'm just tired. I'm really fucking tired of hearing more and more people... It's like every time I meet somebody new, it's like, oh, I've been abused too. You know, a lot of women, like I said, that I meet online, some people come to me, some people DM me and tell me about their abuse experience or they tell me how my channel has inspired them because of their situation or their situation was like mine. I've even had men telling me that they've been abused and whatnot. And it's just like, oh my God, everybody out here, <laughs> it seems like everybody has been abused in some way. It's like people I never even expected. Um, or I didn't really consider they were being abused. They've been abused. A lot of people have been sexual abused, and, and it's just mind blowing. The more people I meet, the more people I come across, the more people I talk to, it's like, damn, this is, this shit is real. We need to start talking about this more and getting to the bottom of it, and just making people uncomfortable with talking about it. Because if we make it uncomfortable, if we make people uncomfortable, then more people will come out about it. More people will. Um, not do it, rather, because the internet's big. If your shit gets out there like that, oh my god. <laughs> you know? Um, it's just, it's really sad. The more people I hear that have been sexually abused in any way is just, it's really sad and it's scary. The, the number of people is scary, you know? And it really sucks that a lot of times CPS doesn't do anything. You know, a lot of times Child Protective Services does not rectify the situation very well. There are people who have um, been reported to CPS and they've done absolutely nothing about the situation. There have been other kinds of abuse reported um, from certain people who tried to get help for someone or tried to get help for a child they knew or whatnot. CPS don't do shit. That system is backwards. It doesn't help that the police system is backwards. The whole entire justice system as a whole is backwards. So a lot of times people don't come out with their stories because they don't think they're really going to get rectified. They don't think it's really going to help. They just think that they're going to be oppressed and they're going to be like, they're going to be fluffed off. They're going to be pushed to the side like, oh, eh, it was nothing. You'll be all right. Or, you know, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll handle it. we get to it. Um, Or, you know, we'll, we'll get justice for you. And then they don't, you know. Um, CVS not really taking kids out of abusive homes and they've had report after report after report of proof that the child is being abused or neglected. There have been, been hundreds of cases of this over how many years and it's sad. It's really, really sad. And this is why abuse keeps going on. Physical abuse, sexual abuse, all of the sort. It just keeps going and going and going and going. And like I said, the more I hear about it, the more angry I get. <laughs> at the situation and sexual abuse is like one of the top tier ones in my opinion that's like one of the worst forms of i'd have to say neglect of a child that's one of the worst forms because physical abuse yeah it's also really bad like when a parent beats up on their child all the time beat them to a bloody pulp every day all the time call them names kicking them around shit like that um physical abuse at least i'm not saying it's good it's not 
But what I'm saying is at least physical abuse, those physical scars can heal. They can heal. And if you go, you have plenty of bruises on your body from where your parent beat you up. Physical scars do heal at some point. Even if they still show, they do heal at some point. <clears throat> but with sexual abuse, the scars don't heal. And I can't say they don't heal. It takes a longer time to heal, but they don't show. Sexual abuse does not reveal itself on your body. It doesn't really reveal itself in any way. Unless you tell somebody that's what you've been through. But physical abuse does eventually go away. For the most part. Unless your parent has done something crazy. Like your caregiver has done something like they've broken your ribs or broken your bones. And now you have severe issues ongoing because of that. There have been cases like that, of course. But what I'm saying is sexual abuse dampens everything like your mind your body the way you engage in sex the way you engage in your relationships the way you treat yourself um your kinks and fetishes all of that it just has to do with it, it ruins so much it ruins so much it damn it even damages how, how your brain functions um when you're young and going through this so <clears throat> I just hate hearing about it. Like I said, it's everywhere. I'm always hearing about it, and it's like, damn, can we can we do something about this? And it's like, it's one of those you can't save the world situations because I'm a natural, what they want to call a healer. I am the type of person who wants to heal everybody. I want to help everybody. I want to do something of some form to help someone's life be better. You know, I am just naturally like that. I'm a humanitarian, all that. But I know I can't save the world. I'm not really trying to. I'm just trying to save whoever wants to be saved, whoever wants to talk to me, whoever wants to open up, you know, come to my channel and speak the truth. I know a lot of people ask me, how did, I, how did you get so real? How did you learn to be so open and real? <laughs> being shunned for so long, being quieted for so long I mean think about it I had to sit around for five years five whole years and hold in my abuse, my sexual abuse I had to sit around and lie to my mom and lie to other people about what I was going through and what I was doing and how I was feeling and what was going on I had to lie for five years about all that so when I finally did get to come out when I finally spoke my truth and whatnot, <coughs> I had to speak up you know, I finally felt free. I finally felt like I wasn't in a cage. So, yeah, I finally started getting my story out. And I was just like, you know what? I'm tired of being quiet. I'm fucking tired of being forced to be quiet. So that's what made me as real as I am now. Um, That name, Eric Realist, I came up with like, I don't know, probably 10 years ago. A long time ago because I'm just really opinionated. And I've been that way ever since I was actually allowed to fucking talk. Ever since I got away from my parents and my situation, um, I was able to finally voice my opinions <coughs> online. And I didn't care what anybody thought about it. If that's my opinion, that's my opinion. Because I was tired of being shut. When you when you um, have no power over how you talk, and you have no power over anything, eventually you're going to get to a point where you're just going to be spilling out everything. Because it's like, oh my god, finally my mouth can be open. Finally, I've been, my lip has been zipped for too long. And when I was finally able to voice it out, I said, hello to the, yeah, I'm going to voice it out. And that's what I try to do here on this channel. You know, occasionally I try to get away from like sad abuse topics. You know, I try to do fun stuff on here too, fun topics that don't have to do with abuse because I don't want to just talk about abuse. Who wants to do that? You know, <laughs> you know, my life doesn't revolve around my abuse. I am not my abuse story. I am not my molestation story at all I am giving my channel some versatility because I just want to it doesn't define me not anymore at least I thought thought that was all that would define me years ago but no um my abuse does not define me so I talk about other things as well and I'm just glad that I get to speak out about it I'm really glad because a lot of people don't get that opportunity. A lot of people never had that opportunity. 
A lot of people around here got some really tragic stories, y'all. If you really sat down and heard that person's story, you'd be over there bawling in tears because that's just how my story went, as well as the aftermath. The aftermath, I always talk about the freaking aftermath. It's not even just about the abuse itself. <clears throat> It's the aftermath. It's what happened in the aftermath. Were you justified? I mean, did you get your recompense? Did you get your revenge? Did you get your um, justice? Did you get justice? Did you get anything? You know, a lot of people didn't. They don't feel like they really got anything. So, um, <clears throat> like I said, it's, it's just sad. It's really, really sad. But you know what? I am happy that I have this platform to speak out. I'm very happy, at least, that I had the courage to speak out because I could have just kept my mouth shut. You know, when everything went down, I could have just not said anything. I could have just not come up here and do any videos. I wouldn't have as many subscribers as I do. I wouldn't have pe as many people talk to as I do. I would not have gotten to voice my opinions as much as I did. I would have not gotten as far as I am today. Now, I can't say I'm really where I want to be because I'm not. I'm really not, <laughs> but still I've come far and I've learned a lot and like I said, I'm just glad I have this platform. I'm really glad I use my platforms for the most part for good stuff um, and just try to help people the best I can, giving advice, you know, giving people that, that internet love that they need. That they need. Um, and that's it. That's, that's all I can do. Uh, I think I've helped a lot of people because a lot of people have told me me getting my story out has helped them and I'm very grateful for that and that's just what I'm going to keep doing. If I'm in the mood then I'll just do a video about it and let that be it and you know people take what they can from it and keep it moving because we all have stuff to vent. We all have stuff we got to get out so again I'm glad I have this platform. Thank you guys for subscribing and sticking around. If you've been watching me this long, if you've been supporting, I appreciate all your love. I hope you stick around. Um, I'm really trying to get to 5,000, um, basically 5,200 subscribers. I'm really close to 5,200. I'm trying to get more people to subscribe and whatnot. Hopefully, that's like a little goal I have before January hits. So. Uh, yeah, that's just my little personal goal right now, but again, I'm very grateful. I'm very happy for this opportunity and next year, um, I have a bunch of things planned for next year for this channel, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. I am working on some things and y'all know I'm juggling a lot. I got five kids. I'm trying to do my exercise and I'm trying to do, I've got a lot going on right now, so but stick around. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. Um, yeah. <laughs> I believe I said everything that I wanted to say. Let me know your opinions down below. I hope you guys are having a great day. Second hour, month, minute, and week. Thank you for watching. Peace out.